Well, good evening and a very warm welcome to you all tonight, to our benchers and members involved in the Inns Governing Committees, to our Student Society representatives, Princess Royal Scholars, our staff, our close partners, and those who played a key role in delivering Project Pegasus. It's been my pleasure to show your Royal Highness around our refurbished and redeveloped building today. We're extremely grateful that as our Royal Bencher, your Royal Highness shows a continuing and keen interest in Inner Temple, not least in our triennial legal book prize. Your Royal Highness has also kindly agreed to be patron of the Friends of Temple Church, where we enjoyed a beautiful even song this evening. And we look forward to the church's own restoration and renewal project taking shape in the coming years. We're delighted that Your Royal Highness can be here today to reopen our Treasury building officially. Project Pegasus has been challenging to implement, but the satisfying results that we see today entirely justify the vision and investment of the Inn. It was our duty to undertake this work to enable us to look forward and meet the increasing needs and demand for better teaching facilities and improved technologies to deliver new teaching strategies for the future. The Royal Charter of 1608, reaffirmed by Her Majesty the Queen in 2008, places important responsibilities on us to provide for the accommodation and education of students and barristers. The redevelopment of the building will meet those needs and in addition afford us great benefits and opportunities in terms of revenue to fund these central purposes. Our period of closure has also enabled us to make many other associated improvements to the building, including improved audio-visual facilities throughout the building and better acoustics here in the hall, a much-needed makeover of the Pegasus Bar, better storage facilities for our silver, and imaginative rehanging of our paintings. We now have greatly improved kitchens from which I, I see we're all benefiting tonight. <laughs> this year, 2022, marks the centenary of the first women being called to the Bar of England and Wales. We will be marking this important 100-year milestone more specifically later this month. I'm delighted that Inner Temple and our nearest neighbour, Middle Temple, both have women treasurers in office this year. Your Royal Highness was our Royal Treasurer in 2011, and we're delighted to have all three previous women treasurers here tonight. After the rehang of the pictures, the first portrait we now see on entering this building is that of our first female treasurer, Master Butler Sloss. And as we've seen this evening, the portrait of Your Royal Highness is at the entrance to our new third floor education and training suite. Today, our focus is on our transformed treasury building and the contribution that it will make to future generations of barristers. And it's with very great pleasure that I call on Your Royal Highness to declare the building open again. Thank you, Master Treasurer, for your very kind words of welcome and the invitation to join you this evening on this rather important moment. Um, and all of you, I'm sure, have been hugely involved in getting everything ready for today. Uh, I think the hoovering went on quite late. Upstairs. <laughs> this is a, a, a real treat to be truly opening a new build, a new project. I have to say, I had probably been Royal Bencher, the Inner Temple, for slightly longer than I had remembered. Um, <laughs> So I've seen a few changes, but of course this is, Project Pegasus is something else. Uh, it truly is the biggest development since the 1950s. And it's a very significant event to be able to reopen it completed and ready for action. Nice too, because you can all come here again after three years. Um, now that probably sound, sounded like a inconvenience and an irritation three years ago. In retrospect, not quite so bad, given that you wouldn't have been allowed in anyway um, for two years. 
And in terms of time, a mere hiccup in a 700-year history of the inn. I'm sure we can put up with that. But of course, I was last here in 2019, which was at the very start. And that was the dinner, the joint amity dinner between the inner and middle temples. My grandparents, of course, attended the original dinner not long after the devastation of World War II. So that rebuilding, very much in mind at that moment, um, and another rebuild now, building on that. Extensive redevelopment, refurbishment, and probably finding some things which weren't done quite that brilliantly <laughs> back in the 50s, so not a bad time to do so. And the redesign by Hugh, Broad Hugh Broughton Architects uh, is a really clever, uh, I think, um, plan. It's a development uh, of Sir Hubert Worthington's post-war incomplete designs uh, and has really enhanced the inn's integral collegiate spaces. And I hope you all believe and, and have seen that for yourselves now. Um, and what we also forget, fortunately, with the passage of time, is probably how many years it has taken of meticulous planning to get Project Pegasus to this point. To see that project come to fruition, I hope will be enormously satisfying for all members of the Inn, and particularly for those who were members of the project team so closely involved in this major redevelopment by Sir Robert McAlpine Special Projects, and some of whom I've met uh, tonight. We've been reminded about the importance of education to the inns. So these new spaces are providing state-of-the-art training facilities. And it's bringing that old and new together to create a very new era uh, in the inns' life and work. It will certainly enhance the inns' core purpose of providing excellent legal education. And it will enable it to continue to provide the outstanding library services that train students and pupil members of the inn. A lot of that as technology has grown on the back of the pandemic, and if there was something to be gained from all that pivoting that went on so busily during the pandemic, learning the lessons of how much technology could do for you, but what it, and also learning what it doesn't, uh, has added to the success of this building and this project. It already has an impressive record of outreach activities. And I think this will hugely help you to, man to encourage underrepresented groups to enter the profession and contribute to its diversity. As you also provide support for students through the generous annual scholarships, worth some two million pounds out of an annual budget of some five million pounds, spent on all, all aspects of education and training. I've also had the opportunity to meet some of the recipients of those scholarships tonight. And I think it's obvious that they have also been well supported and very effectively so through the INS, INS excellent education programs provided by the education and training department with a bit of pivoting thrown in. Um, just to add a little variation. So may I finally just offer my congratulations to all of you who brought the Inner Temple to this point in its long history. I can certainly wish you well in, in continuing that history, which um, we will be a small part of for a bit longer, possibly. But to for the way in which you continue to support the education and training of students, pupils and barristers to up, in, in upholding the rule of law. And I hope you all feel that this is a contribution to the long-term future of that, which is what the Inn has always stood for. So it gives me a very great pleasure to uh, declare The Treasury Building is reopened for business, um, but you couldn't have done this yesterday. So you are very, <laughs> congratulations.